Hello there. Today we're going to be talking about a tool Sonoma Partners has built out called Dynamic Forms. Now, Microsoft Dynamic CRM has a lot of power in terms of workflow and also business rules in order to update forms and uh, change the system, change the form, and make it so that your users can be really productive. Now, with Dynamic CRM 2013, business rules allow you to do things on a form like set field values, set field requirement levels, show or hide fields, enable or disable fields, and then validate data and show error messages. So business rules are pretty potent, but what we found over the years, even before CRM 2013, is that often a lot of people want to be able to do things on the form like filtered pick lists, or they want to show and hide sections or tabs on a form. Um, they want to have the form be really dynamic and do all kinds of different things that typically require coding and require um, hundreds of, of different little uh, bits of code in order to make that happen. So what we've done with Dynamic Forms is we've created a tool that allows someone who doesn't know any code, you know, a business analyst, someone who can use the front and point uh, front end point and click personalization that you know and love within Dynamic CRM to do a lot of those scripting things on a form that enable you to do things like uh, on this form. Uh, show a section. So if I change the process within this opportunity and I say that we've made a decision to move forward with this opportunity to go from a no-go to a go, you're going to note that in the lower left-hand corner we're going to change the way that that looks. A section will become visible. So I'm going to go from no-go, the current value, to a value of go and suddenly the details section is visible. And so once we've made the decision, we're going to proceed with this opportunity, I'll need to be able to fill out those details. And I'll also need to be able to fill out some of these other tabs that are here. Now if I get rid of that and I say, oh no, we're not ready to go. We're in a no-go process. Those tabs are going to disappear. And the section disappeared as well. That's a product of the Sonoma Partners IP dynamic forms. So let me just show you that again, going from no-go to go. So you can see that we're able to hide and disable specific sections and tabs on this form, which is something you can't do with business rules out of the box in Dynamics CRM 2013. Some other things that you might want to do uh, that you can't do with business rules are do calculations. So you'll note in the details section we have estimated revenue, win probability, and weighted revenue. Well, weighted revenue is a product of multiplying the estimated revenue times win probability. So what we'll want to do in order to make sure that weighted revenue is always calculated correctly is not have that be a manual process for the user, but actually have the system do that for ourselves. So with Dynamic Forms, we're able to make that calculation happen. So right now, uh, my estimated revenue is $12.5 million. My win probability is 80%. So my weighted revenue is $10 million. However, if I increase the probability of this, you'll see that the system using dynamic forms will be able to do a calculation to update that value for me. And so you see that's one of the powers that dynamic forms brings to the table. One final demonstration of this before I show you what dynamic forms looks like on the back end and how to configure it is the ability to do what's called a cascading pick list. So what that means is I can actually have one value in a field filter the values or change the values in another. So in this example, I'll use client type and practice area. And I'll say that we have a number of different client types in this particular opportunity. Government agency, higher education, irrigation district, um, education folks. So when I'm using any of these values, and I'll just switch this real quick to airport authority, the practice area list is fairly long. So whenever we're working with airports, these are all of the different types of practice areas that we can choose from. However, when I'm working with a government agency, maybe there aren't as many practice areas that they engage in. And so when I switch this government agency client type, you'll note that the practice area values become filtered. There are fewer of them because we know that government agencies don't need all of these extraneous practice areas. So that's you know one example of a filtered or a cascading pick list. And that's something that uh, dynamic forms can do for you. So setting this up is actually fairly easy. Let me show you what this looks like on the back end. So 
So here is the dynamic forms interface. And you'll note, here's the first rule that I created. Very simple declarative model. I put in the rule name, go, no go, form changes. And then I say, on the entity, when the go, no go field equals no go, and also when the form equals the master opportunity form, because you could have different rules for different forms in the system, I want to hide the tab for primary and billable client. I want to hide the section for details. And I want to hide a couple of other tabs as well. So that's one rule. And that's one where we're just hiding specific parts of the form when we don't need them. The next rule that I showed was a calculation for weighted revenue. And you'll note that here, I basically just say, if we have a value in, in the win probability field, then I want you to calculate the weighted revenue by taking estimated revenue and multiplying it times win probability, that exact calculation that I showed you before. So these are very simple rules that you can go ahead and use from the front end and program them that way. And you'll note that the possibilities of how I can set up those rules uh, are pretty extensive. I can make changes and base rules on the entity that I'm working with, on the form that I'm working with, on related entities. So for an opportunity, every opportunity is probably tied to a customer. I could actually base rules on the customer as opposed to the opportunity to change the opportunity form, which is pretty unique and exciting. And then also from a user perspective. So it may be that you have security roles and security enabled for a group of people, but you want to enable certain things to be shown to a specific user and you don't want to fiddle with the security roles. Dynamic forms would allow you to create a rule that says this user, maybe me, Bryson, even though he is a salesperson, I'm going to allow him on the form to see these fields and values that are normally reserved for people who are in finance. So once we have those conditions figured out, you can then go in and program specific actions based off of that. So it's if then. And in the then, that could be all sorts of things. That could be a calculation like we saw for the weighted revenue. It could be to sort of uh, change which form the users are looking at. It could be to change the navigation within the form, so show different related lists and related entities related to the opportunity. It could be to program a field, so that cascading pick list that we saw earlier, to add a JavaScript alert or notification, uh, to hide a section, to hide a tab, or collapse a tab, or disable a tab. Lots of different possibilities for this. So that's just a bit of a flavor of what Dynamic Forms from Sonoma Partners can do for you. If you'd like to actually use this in action, we have it as a download on our website. So feel free to go to sonomapartners.com and download the solution. Put it into a test environment and see what it can do. Uh, in addition to that, if you have additional questions, feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email. And we'd be happy to walk you through some of the other things that you can do with Dynamic Forms. So thank you. And again, if you have questions, you can go to sonomapartners.com.